All right, in this video, we're going to talk about some of the options here in Indirect Volumes. We're going to talk about unsuitable materials, compaction expansion, exceptions, and added quantities. So what I have already is I have a cross-section cut down through my corridor. I have an existing ground surface, and I have a rock uh, surface in here as well. The first one I'm going to talk about is unsuitable materials, and most commonly this is going to be used as topsoil stripping. So we can define a station range. Um, we can tell it the depth of the topsoil that we want to strip out. We'll make it 0.5. And then we're going to give it a style. And we'll see this style drawn out in graphics. We'll also see in our report that it's going to be, um, it's going to be broken out by this style. Um, so I'm going to call it E unsuitable materials here. And we're going to add that to our list. The next one we're going to do before we run it, uh, compaction and expansion. This allows us to type in our shrink and swell factors. And these are uh, values here that we enter in are simply going to be multiplied by the cut and fill numbers to give us our, our factored volumes. Volume exception is just that. It's going to be a station range where we are not going to consider the volumes. So it's just going to, it's just going to plug zeros in uh, for this station range here. So we're going to add that. Most commonly this is going to be if you have a cross section set but you cut through a bridge section for example and you don't want any of the volumes to be calculated during um, the range of that bridge and the abutments, um, then you can enter in the station range of those sections and exclude them from your reports. Finally, we're going to do the added quantities. And this is going to be if we have a big um, stockpile near a certain station or if we have a pit where we can waste some of our materials there, we can add that in here to be considered in our volumes. And we're going to go from, let's say, from 1,400 to 1,600. We have a big stockpile there, some fill materials. And we can just directly add in those quantities. So we're going to say 7,500 and add it in there. So let's go ahead and hit Apply. We're going to turn on Create XML Report so we can see how those quantities were added in there. Let's look at the graphics real quick before we look at our report. And what we'll see first is we'll see that uh, six inches of topsoil stripping using the um, using the style that we showed, and it's going from limit of construction to limit of construction. We're looking at station 100 here, so we're going to see that most of this volume here we're in a cut section, so most of this volume is not going to be replaced. But it did go um, again to the limit of construction, went down, so we are going to have a little bit a negligible amount of volume here that's going to it's going to consider um, replacing. Um, so let's look at our report here, and we'll go to station 100, which is what we were just looking at. And we see our unsuitable materials, the total, this is going to be our total stripping. Um, it's going to reduce our normal cut volume by that amount because this is unsuitable. It's not going to be available for fill later on in our project. And we see that most of it is not replaced, and that is because it's in a cut section. But we did have those little triangles there at the very corner of our limit of construction, giving us a very negligible amount of volume here um, on that command. If we go down to station um, 700 through 900 is where we put our, um, our exception in, and we see that we did get volumes at 700, but beyond that point, when we go to 800, we're getting, um, we're getting zero volumes here in our, in our report for 700 and 900 which is what we, for 800 and 900, which is what we wanted for that area of that bridge. And while we're here, we can also look at our um, cut, cut and fill um, factors, our shrink and swell factors are being applied to our, our numbers. So we have a, a volume here of 102.5 multiplied by 1.1, we get 11.02. And then finally, our added quantities were listed down at 1400 to 1600. And when we go down there, when we go down to 1,400, 1,500, and 1,600, we'll look and see that, that added quantity of 7,500 is split between the two um, sections, 1,500, 1,600. So here's our added fill. And it's just a number directly added to our fill volume. 